Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the Copa America semi-final review. Yes, probably a day sooner than I expected to do it. But yeah, the semi-final has been played. So why not go ahead and do it? May I point out one little thing? He 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 new edition and you as a fellow watcher of my reviews of the tournament, see it first, the unpacking video. Uh, there will be one or two more South American shirts coming and I want to do it all in a batch video and packing video and we'll put them together. So, but yeah, Ecuador getting better. Still have the three uh, <laughs> guest teams here, although I could have removed one now. Um, yeah, and I decided to wear Brazil because I have for my two other Copa America videos, I realized that I've been wearing consistently Argentina. That's not good. I need to give the other teams. Yes, Argentina, I want to have win, but that I uh, didn't wear Peru, for instance, uh, so no, was a little bit of a surprise to me as well. And so despite Brazil, big bad Brazil, as I like to call them now, beating Peru, we're wearing Brazil. They are the favorites and one has to say they actually, at least for one half, played very, very, very convincingly again. And we have the dream final. Because Argentina maybe with a little bit more trouble than uh, Brazil this time around, but also uh, in the end, I think deservedly moving on. So let's jump in. Brazil, Peru, uh, only one deal. I mean, the first half, again, saw highlights of both uh, matches. The first half was all Brazil and really scintillating performances. Uh, there was this uh, move, I think Neymar, of course, posted on Instagram as well uh, or Twitter where he and Paqueta, you know, back heels, direct play, whatever, are wonderful stuff. Absolutely wonderful stuff. And Brazil did only score one goal. To me is, uh, I think, the true miracle of that first half. The goal came, again, through a Neymar uh, action where he takes on three Peruvian defenders. Yes, two of them make the wrong move at the same time to let uh, Neymar pass, but that he can go through three defenders and then play to Paqueta to put it into that. And third, third, fifth was a really glamorous move. But even before that, I mean, Brazil had enough chances to make it two or three at the half. Peru really not there, which uh, is a little bit sad because I think Peru was uh, kind, kind, kind of one of those fun teams to always one of the fun teams as as, as late to watch at the Copa and yeah, unfortunately, but you know, no one really expected uh, Peru to actually uh, be able to beat Brazil in many ways. Uh, second half, Peru actually could kind of tighten it up a little bit and you know it was still only one goal behind and maybe with some luck you could have find a breakthrough but in the end I think Brazil thoroughly deservedly moved on and into the next round uh, which is of course the final on home soil in the Maracana. Where they will meet Argentina, who were again Messi, 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 Messi. I, uh, Messi is the leader of this team and I have to say overall from uh, all I hear and the highlights that I see, I think this Argentina team looks like a solid team. Uh, Brazil has a lot of flair, has a, has a lot of star power, maybe not as great of a team where Argentina looks a little bit gelling more and have a Messi that pulls the strings. I mean, every game that I see, Messi has at least one assist. This time he didn't get a goal. He usually has a goal as well. But uh, the way he set up uh, Lautaro in the seventh, again, Lautaro didn't have to do much to score that goal. However, right on the reverse kickoff, uh, within two minutes, Colombia hit twice the woodwork. Uh, I think the second one by Yerimina, the first one was, was the shot that just goes on the uh, post and then out and then from the uh, ensuing corner kick. Uh, yeah, Yerimina hits the bar, but then on the other side, uh, Argentina also did likewise. Um, they had trouble with Colombia. At first, uh, Colombia then got their deserved equalizer through Diaz in the 61st. But then on the other hand, one has to say Argentina hit then again the crossbar. And then there was one action where uh, Di Maria, who came on a little bit uh, later, caused a whole heap of trouble and played the ball to Lautaro Martinez, who just has to roll it into the empty net. And he does it so centrally that it is actually saved on the line, which goalie out, I think you got to make this goal. 
And so to penalties, it goes. And uh, Colombia, despite going first, is hit again by this curse that I already said in the Euros and in the World Cup. Having two penalty shooters back to back. If you win the first one, you are not winning the second one. There's only two teams that have managed that. One was Argentina in 1990. That's still the one that I really count. Because Croatia in 2018, well, Russia also won by a penalty. So it's bound to happen that one of them will win twice. But it was not because uh, this was a big achievement. And it showed. And I, this is something that I would like to study in some ways. Uh, I mean, I have been studying penalties. I know that the team that goes first usually has a 60% chance of winning. Um, and there's a whole lot of game theory. I mean, this is for a mathematician. This is uh, penalties and the penalties usually are field day. Um, so, yeah. But uh, the effect also that, you know, it gets harder and harder the further you go on. You actually want to start with your best shooters first. So uh, it was actually good that Messi went first. Um, and the first two, Quadrado and Messi, do uh, convert. However, then it's the goal is. Uh, Davinson Sanchez is, is wonderfully saved by the Argentinian goalkeeper, who became the real hero of this game. And it's for once not Messi. Uh, Martinez, of course. Uh, Rodrigo de Paul then misses immediately, but then Santimina also. Uh, when Paredes makes it 2-1, things are going the way. I really loved how Borja celebrated his uh, penalty, the Martinez uh, Lautaro this time uh, it really gets it very very close for our, our Argentina and then Cardona uh, crumbles under, under, under pressure and the penalty is again saved and so uh, for once it's not Messi but Martinez the two of them hugging after, uh, afterwards Messi uh, definitely feeling this is his now his biggest chance of winning finally something with the national team and so on we go we have the dream final Argentina against Brazil Many thought this should have been already the 2014 final, but then, you know, Germany had some other ideas there. Uh, I think it would have been an intriguing final, to be honest. So this is also very intriguing, unfortunately, without fans, which would have made it even more intriguing. And then uh, in the third place game with Colombia against Peru, also two neighboring nations. Uh, that, yeah, uh, it is, of course, Peru, um, Colombia that is heavily favored uh, there. Although I think Peru can hurt Colombia again. They already played once. Uh, Colombia probably has the bigger stars, but I think Peru has the better team. So I would hope that Peru gets another uh, medal at a uh, Copa America to at least leave me in good spirits. And you know, I like Peru. I have family relations there. I've been, that's the only South American country I've ever been, been, been to. I absolutely love it. So I would be happy if Peru does well. Um, going uh the games will be played you know the one is uh friday uh, south american time so saturday in europe uh or, or morning the, the final is played on saturday or very early sunday morning so i may actually do a review a review on sunday could be um because on monday we have to talk about the euro final so let's see that I, once the South American team shirts arrive, I will do, of course, the jersey review, which you should get before the finals re review. That is my 100% plan of doing it. And probably tomorrow I'm already posting. Uh, I, I will be probably tomorrow in the uh, evening shooting those. In any case, let me know what you thought about the semifinals. I would love to talk more, but I only can see minimal highlights and get a little bit of feeling of, 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 from them. As I said, Brazil, I think, thoroughly deserved it. Argentina, in the end, also, although they had to fight a little, a little bit harder, but sometimes those are the good fights. Uh, again, 90 minutes and then Pele should maybe make sense in this context. We had it already the last Copa America, but I have a little bit of feeling that um, it goes a little bit too straight into a penalty shootout some. Sometimes it's very easy for like an outsider to defend yourself into a penalty shootout. Not that this happened uh, between Argentina and Colombia though, but I had the feeling that kind of Uruguay and Colombia were just going for that one. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so that you're updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!